What's up everyone and welcome to episode 3 of my Let's Play Feed the Beast 1.5.2 beta with Greg Tech version 0 0.8. Now, hopefully in this episode we can finally finish our power plant, our beginner power plant. Um, the, the most uh, inefficient power plant, but a power plant... Nonetheless, that will help us generate some power and fill in these uh, redstone uh, energy frames that we have made. Now, I've done a lot since the last episode, and I guess I can show you by showing my waypoints. Um, and I found, uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but I had found a mine shaft. And now I found, if you can look here, I found two skeleton spawners. I found a spider spawner. And a lot of these uh, minecart chests, I'm guessing from Railcraft, that spawn randomly in mine, mine shafts. So a lot of stuff here. Great to find these spawners because we will be using those very soon. And um, with that, I've collected a lot of different materials. Um, but let's not get into that right now. So, what I have been doing is pretty much using all my copper. And I made another redstone energy cell. And I made um, some more hardened glass, some more ingot, electrum ingots. Because down here, I made uh, two more steam engines, which took a lot of my copper. Pretty much almost all my copper. Um but we had to make them so now that we have five engines that should be enough um, and due to my limitations of coal I don't have a lot a lot of coal but it should be enough to start um, being able to charge these redstone energy cells so that's what I want to do and let's get right into it by dismantling these engines and might as well take these pipes back now we're still going to use the same space um, we're going to get rid of all these all these things because now what I'll have here is I'm going to have energy to power these machines and energy is going to be able to fill this extra redstone energy cell that's the plan so I got everything I think I got everything I need. Okay, so where am I going to put these en um, these engines? I'm just going to put them right here. Nothing really new here. I'll put them right here. Three, four, five. And then I'm going to hook up my water. Now, I don't know if this one aqueous accumulator can fill all these five at the same time. If they're all running, but we will find out. If not, then I will... Um, make another one because these aren't really that expensive to make okay now that we made this um, we need to hook up um, oh, oh, actually we're not going to be using these conductive pipes anymore we're going to be making the thermal craft pipes which is the energy conduits okay right here and if we look at the recipe here, uh, we need to make, before we put the, the liquid redstone in there, we need to make these energy, empty energy conduits. And that's what we need. We need electric ingots and some hardened glass, which I have made. So let's make those. Um, maybe I'll make eight, uh, let's see, four to 16. Maybe that's enough. Maybe it's not. We'll find out in a second. And then we take those and we put those in here. And hopefully I will have enough energy to fill, uh, if not most of them. Okay, looks like we got 10. Let's go for 11. Yes, 11. Okay, so 11 might be good. Does this have... Alright, so maybe I couldn't be able to actually, while we're setting this up. I'll try to get as much liquid as I can to fill the rest of these things up. Okay, that's what I like about these machines too, is that they keep the energy that they had from uh, before, from previous. So now that we have that, let's take these conduits 
and we're gonna string them up like this okay um, then we're gonna get our crescent wrench crescent hammer which I put somewhere where did I put my hammer I should have where the heck did I put my hammer I'm gonna risk getting blown up by a creeper so I can get my hammer back. It should be over here. There he is. And I, I got rid of those chests. A lot of mis I got a lot of mis miscellaneous stuff, but um, that creeper can stay outside. Okay. And I'll take that. Okay, so now we have all our conduits. And uh, get my crescent hammer here. play nice there we go now I believe the blue means that it's going out so the energy is going to be going out from these engines into this line which will then be hooked up to our machines here and then I think we have to give these a whack if I'm not mistaken take this crescent hemp and give these a whack nope that's not what I wanted to do um, okay let's try this again don't hit shift okay and I think that means that they're gonna now take in energy I'm not sure I should have looked this up but you know what we'll find out together Actually, it might be the other way around. This may be that these are these are inputting energy, and then these are going to be outputting energy. Yeah, that's that's what I think. Okay, we'll find out in a second when I turn these machines on. Um, all right, not the not not the fanciest. Uh, configuration but that should be good and let's just look inside the engines they're all they're all powered I mean they're all filled with water I'm gonna take some redstone drip it across here okay and before I do that let's put some coal in here and they're already on. Okay, now that now let's see if our machines are receiving energy. Yes, there are. Okay, so now they're receiving energy. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Uh, before I go, let me get some more coal. A couple stacks here. Kind of did not want these machines to be on though no. I obviously need a lesson in redstone because it's been a while I'll figure that out in a sec okay let me okay so with this like this let me take this out and figure out um, something here you know what I'm just gonna have to I'm gonna have to ghetto it I like to ghetto things because when I don't know what I'm doing I ghetto it and it usually works out in the end uh, one two that should be all I need Now, let's create that an area so we can um, put our redstone energy cell here. Nice. That is that is so freaking beautiful. And um, all right, these are act, and this is inputting to here, and this is 
going out. And I am going to put two of them. This is inputting. And this is. Uh, whoops. Got to stop hitting shift when I do that. I just have to click it. Okay. Click. And this is going to be. Oh, it's kind of hard that I'm on this thing right now. All right. All right. That's outputting. That's outputting the energy while these are taking it in. These are outputting. Oh. Um, hmm. What am I doing wrong? Okay, let me do this. How about if I put this thing here? Then take this. Would this make any difference? No, this is inputting. That's outputting. Okay, now let's turn on these end. Well, let me um, put the coal in there first. And should start turning on, right? Okay, so these are going to turn on. Okay, put that there. Put that there. All right, let's see if the if it's maintaining its water levels. It looks like it is. And these will be... All right, so these will shut them on and off. Okay. Now, if we look at this one, it's taking in energy. This one is not taking in energy. So, what are we doing wrong? Will this, uh, once this fills, will, I wonder if it'll... Okay, energy's going in. Hmm. Now, I doubt my, no, my machines are not going to be taking energy now, right? Let's see. Are these all full? Wow. Yeah, see, now my my machines are not taking energy in. Hmm. Inputting. I, I want it to... Okay, so if I shut... If I click this off and I put this here. And then I click this. What will happen? Now my machines are getting energy. Right? Yeah, now my machines are getting energy. So that one other buffer, I'm going to have to figure out where to put it um, without it messing up my machines. So maybe put it here. All right, let's see if this works. Okay. Now this is outputting. No, that's not going to work. OMG, what am I doing wrong here? Um All right. Now you're 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 putting all your energy into the machines. And these guys What happens if I just lay this guy up here? No, then it's going to do that stupid thing again. So what happens if I lay a cable here? Put this here. Now what? Now this is filling up. Okay. I I can I can deal with that. That, that that's fine. And this one is also getting energy. All right, so all my machines should be filled up. Let's see if they're all filled up now. Everything's filled to the max. So this is great because now I have a buffer here so I don't have to worry about my um, machines running out of energy and also not having to keep these stone engines on all the time. Now this guy, he's going to be filling up. So once he's capped, I can take this energy cell and right click on it and I will get, I will have a portable energy and um, that's what I wanted to make. So there it goes. And how's my water doing? Water's doing fine. Everything's keeping up. Looking up. Oh, looking fantastic. This is great. So that's our power plant. A very simple one. But the only problem, of course, with this power plant is it needs coal. And coal is something that I would have to mine tons of um, to keep these engines running. So we're going to have to... Uh, 
worry about that. But for now, I'm very happy with this. I am very happy that we have this um, begin beginner. I want to call it the beginner power plant because there are so many diff better um, power plants out there. So these both of these are filling up at the same time. So I might just run them until all this coal burns out. Um, and then we can move on. To, let's see, I got four stacks of coal left. So that's enough for... Um, that's enough. It's enough. And we're, we're just producing. We're producing energy. That's what the main thing I was... Um, I wanted to do. And we're doing it. That is so cool. I can just watch this all, all day. <laughs> okay, so that's done. Now, uh, let's move on to the next project. So, give me a sec. Alright, just a quick uh, change that I just made. Um, I was trying to fill both of these energy frames, uh, energy cells at the same time. And that's going to like take forever. So, what I did here is I changed, um, I had like this was like a quarter full. And that was like a quarter full. So, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to fill this one up first. So... I was able to just by a click of my hammer uh, take all the energy that was in this cell take it out and put it into here since this is the only one that's since it's blue it's 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 receiving it's taking in energy and orange means it's gonna pull it out so when I did that it emptied out this cell I'll show you right now emptied out this cell and put all the energy into here so um, I should be able to fill this up uh, really soon. It's about 400,000 MJs, so 200,000 to go. Um, so that was just something that I figured I would do. And uh, yeah, it's working out. So uh, the next machine that I want to make is something that I probably should have made in the beginning. Is a turtle. Now, most of you guys know what it is. It's a little computer dude that will do a lot of things for you. Uh, we can just see from here, it can it can do a lot. It can craft for you. It can kill things for you. It can be wireless. It can mine for you. It can dig holes. It can do a lot of stuff. So, I want to make a mining turtle because this is a great addition to mining uh, without having a quarry. And it's really, really inexpensive to make if we look here. The only expensive thing I need is a diamond pickaxe, which I can make very easily. And the turtle, excuse me, I'm getting comfortable here, only takes iron ingots, uh, a chest, and a computer. And a computer is smooth stone, redstone, and a glass pane. Um, so that's easy. So let's make that stuff right now. Glass, smooth stone, uh, redstone, and iron. And, um, alright, let's make the glass pane. I get 16 of those. Nice. Um, so it goes like this, right? If I wasn't mistaken. Come on, Jay. Come on. Alright, like this, right? Alright, so computer made. Um, let me get a chest. Uh, I got some chest out here, actually. Let me get that chest. Uh, there you are. Anything else I need in here? Nope. Always need my bucket of water, no matter what. Okay, so... We're going to make a couple items here. So, um... It was a chest, a computer, and it was surrounded by... Iron. There's our turtle. Nice. Uh, let's get our diamonds, which we are starting to run low on. But that's not a problem because we can use our minium stone to change gold into iron, uh, gold into diamonds. So that's pretty cool. Um, oh, I had chest in there. Go figure. Okay, get my sticks. Uh, look at all these rail tracks I got from that mine shaft that I found. It's freaking awesome. All right. Um, all right, this I, I have to use one that doesn't have durability. So if I take my turtle and I take my diamond pickaxe, oh yeah, mining turtle done. Now we need another item, um, which I have this enchantment table here. This is why I made it. Um, we need. Let me write it. Put it down here. Chunk loader. 
<laughs> Alright, so a chunk of note is gonna need an ender pearl. Now how do we make an ender pearl? Oh yeah, we use our minium stone. With our, I got the iron on me, so let's get this minium stone. Um I think I can just actually do it like this. Yes, I can. And there we go. Look at Ender Pearl. Didn't even have to attempt to kill an Ender. So we got that. Now we need gold ingots. So you know, as you, I'm sure you guys know by now, a chunk loader loads the chunk for you, so that you can walk away and do whatever you want, and still have your mining turtle do its work. Um, chunk loader. Oh, this is very powerful. I'm probably gonna make two of these so I can put one in my base and have one wherever my mining turtle is. I think that would be a good idea. Um, or I can make, um, actually there's a another item here. Let me just show you it. A spot loader. This spot loader is pretty badass because it gives you 10 of them. And what it is, it's like, it's like a mini chunk loader. You can't really make it a, uh, like when you put the chunk loader down. Um, no, I don't want to die right now. Let me go in here. When you put the chunk loader down, you can make it like ha load chunks in a wide area, but that can really like lag your game. So what a spy loader do? It'll just load like a little area. You can't really customize it so that to load a large area, but if you just put it next to your machines, it'll uh, keep it uh, loaded and um, not lag because like you know I, I do want this area loaded but let's say I don't want stuff down there loaded um, or this thing across the river loaded uh, but with this chunk loader it'll do that and it can get really laggy so let's um, just show the lasers and I can see I'm, I can tell how many chunks see how, how, how wide that is that's pretty um, that's a good area that's back there that's on these trees over there so, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, um, take that for now. Give me that. Alright, so let's find an area that we're gonna put our turtle. And I'm thinking over here, because I'm not really using anything over here. Oh, but before I do that, before I do that, I, I need to make another item. Which I do not have on me right now almost forgot where's my wood got my wood okay I want to make um, an iron chest um, oh, I might as well do it like this because I want to have my turtle um, there we go. I want my turtle to. Uh, put items into the chest. Now, mining mining turtles, it's a whole. I can do like a whole episode on them. But what I'm, I'm just going to do the most basic of um, task. And that is just to build, dig a hole down to bedrock. Um, oh, well, over here, you see this hole? That's where a creeper blew up. I almost died. But um, I'm gonna just make it, give it an easy, easy task of just digging a hole and putting items into the chest. That's all I'm gonna ask it to do. Now it's gonna put everything that it digs: it's dirt, cobblestone, everything. You can set it up to where um, it, it only takes the valuable ores. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go really basic and have it just dig. Um, straight down and then put whatever it can in the chest um, and of course I forgot another item I forgot the fuel so let's stop failing first of all let me pick a spot then I'll pick over here in the snow I hate the snow areas for some reason I never liked them um, they annoy me so I'm gonna put the turtle over here I don't see really anything valuable here nope okay so I'm gonna mark this as my turtle spot okay I'm gonna go home go home and oh I got three diamonds in there nice uh, where is 
what 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 do I want to make? I want to make. I'm gonna make a bunch of buckets, and I am gonna go down into my mine and get some lava. I'll be right back. Okay, I got my lava. Um. So let's stick out this spot right here. Sweet. I'm gonna put my iron chest down. I'm gonna take my turtle out. Okay. And let's put the chest here. Let's put the turtle here. Then we're gonna right click the turtle. And I'm gonna name it label. Did I just do a space? Let me say label. No. Label set. I think this is how it goes. Tiny. Okay, cool. Now, let's put the buckets in here, and then we're going to type in here, refuel all, and uh, you need fuel for your, for your turtle, of course. Now, that's 4,000. That should be good for a little bit. Um, if anything, I will come back and put more lava into it if I need to. That's not a problem. Okay, let me put this chunk loader right here I wanted to load uh, let's see let's do like 225 chunks that's fine I wonder if that'll cover our house too um, okay so let's start this up now I want to make let's see I'm, I, I should make a decent hole how about that excavate wow am I really typing in any eye Excavate uh, la, 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 40. And there it goes. It's going to go to work. It's going to dig me a huge hole. Um, a couple issues with the turtle, though. If you're in single player, if you shut off the game, it will stop wherever it is. So you have to literally get it back, put it back to the chest, and, and hit the command again. That's the only problem, I guess, with this. Um... But aside from that, this boy will dig up everything, and then he's going to put everything into this chest here since I laid it right next to him. Um, and then I'll try to take out as much dirt and, and garbage out. But look at that. That's going to be such a big hole, and he's just going to be a good little turtle. Um, if I was cool, I could uh, put a couple turtles, but I'm going to let this little dog work work for his um, his money. And that's in lava. I pay him in lava. Um, look at him go and he's just going to dig till it's heart's content 40 by 40 hole that's going to be a huge hole um, but I'm guessing whatever he spits out is going to be even better in fact you know what I am going to um, where's home home's over there lava you see that lava spot that's where uh, I got the lava obviously and that was a mine shaft I digged pretty far in that mine shaft um, <clears throat> oh down here let me show you this this is like a tea te te hydrate or some tea to hydrate or this stuff here and you can um, pulverize it into copper but it actually has another um, byproduct that I can only get if I used another uh, advanced machine that I do not have right now. So I, I just figured I'll tell you that. Um, how about we upgrade? Let's upgrade that um, that chest. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's see. I want to go silver chest. Uh, where are you? Silver, silver to gold. No, 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 no. no. I want. Iron. There we go. Iron to gold chest. Oh, where's the iron to silver chest? I thought I'd get an upgrade like that. Uh, surround gold. Do I want to go gold chest? Uh, let's go gold chest. How about we just skip it all? Go gold chest. Iron to gold chest. That's what we'll do. And we'll make this thing so that in case I... Because I'm just going to uh, AFK when I uh, 
when I oh it's gonna be dark I didn't bring my bed with me um, I'll just AFK and let this bad boy dig I usually just leave any eye open and then you can tab out to do other things um, whatever it is you want to do okay let's see boom oh it's snowing so look at that that's a huge chest and uh, Turtle boy here is gonna go to work. Where is Turtle? Well, Tiny. Where are you, Tiny? Are you still working on? Alright, <laughs> Tiny, you're a good boy. Let's see if my chunk loader is actually that going that far. Because that would be a shame if it didn't. Show lasers. Okay. How far are we going? How far is far enough? Oh. Did we just make it? All right, that looks good. That yeah, yeah, that should be good enough. Um How about we check um over here? Let's we'll see how far that goes. Oh yeah, that's super duper far. This chunk loader is going to work like a boss and um And this turtle's awesome. Just let me tell you, this turtle is pretty awesome. All right. 255 chunks. That is amazing um, all right so that's done what else can we do um, hmm let me think let me think give me a sec all right so I was thinking of what we could do so I figured hey how about we end this episode with me going to that stronghold that we found uh, it was over there well our nether portal was up there on that ridge and the stronghold was right down here so we got lucky with that um, I died once trying to get down here so I lost 10 levels of my experience but that's fine I got all my stuff back I got jumped by a couple spiders it was not cool right right outside my nether portal so that wasn't the business so let's do the I didn't, I didn't uh, explore this uh, this cave really I mean the stronghold really so we got nether warts here that's always cool um, but what I want to look for is a blaze spawner, and I see that there is, well, might be one down here somewhere. How do I get over there? Do I have to bust through here? Let's see if I can. Okay, I think we're heading the right path here. Oh, we got a wither. Wither scully. Die! Nice. What do we get? We got a piece of coal. All right. <laughs> okay, so um, oh, it doesn't look like the. No, that was a circle. Okay, so it looks like the blaze spawner might be right on top of us. Um, we're just gonna have to find a way to get up there. I could dig straight up, I guess. That would be the easiest way. But let's just do a little more exploring. Maybe we could find something. Um, okay, is this where we started? Nope, this looks cool. Alright, we got a ghast. Oh, are they fighting? Let's look out the window here. Nope, they're not fighting. Um, wow, look at all that glowstone. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. We got a ghast right there. I think he wants to play. But I don't want to play. Alright, that was a circle. So, um, I, oh, with my turtle, well, remember how I set it to 40? Um, 40 excavate? I kind of switched that down to 20 because it was taking way too long to clear out and start digging. What the heck kind of. Oh, that's a skeleton. All right. All right. So looks like no blaze spawners. The blaze spawners has to be somewhere. They're probably downstairs then. I think we went up too high here. So let's see if we can go down here and find. Oh my gosh. Those bats are so bad. Do not want any part of those bats. Um. All right. Let's go over here. This looks inviting uh 
pig man. I don't want to mess with the pig man right now. Because they will all they will attack us and then it'll be ugly. Oh my god, where is that fire bat? Those fire bats are so mean. Okay. Anything over here? Nothing over there. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we found one blaze spawner. Very oh my gosh, what am I doing? Oh my gosh! Okay, so we found the blaze spawner. So before I die, let me put this blaze spawner. Alright, that's good. We're gonna have to come a little bit more prepared. Uh, possibly with potions and such, but... That's what we were definitely looking for and we found it, so I'm very happy with that. Get some blaze rods and all that good jazz. Uh, which way did I go? Did I go this way? Ooh, this is pretty. Look at that. There's the whole stronghold. It's very cool. And I know one of those fire bats are going to come and eat me alive. Where are you? Alright, let's take care of this wither skeleton. Come here. Oh! Oh my god, I thought I died. He just gave me the wither nastiness. Oh my god. Where's that bat? Jeez. Alright, the bat is under me. And if it stays under me, we'll be safe. Oh, this is getting really extreme. Extreme nether. Okay. That withered stuff is really nasty. Whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. Let's see. It's just looking around. Oh, no! Look at that. That thing almost... Annihilated me, but we took care of it. Um, oh, one of those slimes are down there somewhere. Let's see if we can get one of that slime, get that magma stuff. Come here. Oh, little egg. And he didn't drop anything. Just looking around. Look at those. Those are those like mushrooms or something. So much craziness. Oh, is that a blaze spawner up there? That might be one. Might be another one. Oh, you want to come and attack me like that? All right. Oh, no. Man, you almost flanked me. Smart. What did we get? We got more coal and we got a minium shard. Be great if we can get... Oh, I got an Evorpal, I think, on my blade to get the skulls. So You can forget that. All right, so... Man, those blazes are no joke. What is that? Are those berries? Oh my gosh, it's like everything in this nether now. So much crazy stuff. But, yeah, so that's what I was just... I guess I'll just end the video with that. Us uh, exploring. We found the spawner. That was the main goal. Um, and we're going to have to also look into some other mods. I mean... There's so many mods that uh, a lot of people start off with the usual mods all the time. Me, I'm kind of like trying to j have to get that power plant working, which we did actually fill one of the en redstone energy cells. We filled it up, and then I was working on the other one, but we ran out of coal. But um, let's go back and uh, let's go back home. I should really put the nether, sp this spawn, right inside here. Alright, let me see. I'll uh, put this tainted soil in there and some nether rack. Actually, I want the nether rack. Alright, let's go back home. And um, I made a couple things. A uh, couple. Uh, I made a couple more barrels to put some some stuff in there because it was getting really full um, in my chest. Like this uh, sugar cane it was getting pretty full. Um, so let's check out, I don't have my bed on me, do I? No. Okay, so, yeah, so I put some bar more barrels here. I got dirt, gravel, which I'm going to be using very soon, more cobblestone, um, and that's about it with that. And then up here, down here, 
our power station we filled up this energy cell so now we can make some machines and power them using this lovely box which we will be doing very soon and then this one most likely will just be the power for these machines um, for now and that's how much I got in there before I ran out of coal on my engines here the the water was able to uh, sustain all these engines that one aqueous accumulator so that was really cool um, and oh let's go check out our turtle and I totally off oh my gosh I was gonna make um, I made a little bed by the turtle because I was just sitting there AFK um, even though I didn't have to because we had a chunk loader but I was just AFK because I, I went to eat lunch and stuff but I had made a point to rest that and then for some reason I forgot to make another point so let's look oh yeah a lot of mobs down there where's that creeper you're not that sneaky my friend blow up thank you oh look at all that crap I got okay so if we look down here um, our turtle is going to work I put more Oh, actually, he's going to destroy that, um, that beehive. Hmm. All right, let me, let me do something real fast. I don't want to end the episode just yet. Where's the chest? Okay, there's the chest. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my gosh, what is this monstrosity? Wow. Talk about getting ambushed. Jeez. Never a dull day in Minecraft. Okay. Uh, okay, so I kind of glitched out there, but this is my bed. Uh, I put my bed here because uh, I was, yeah, so like I was saying, I was AFK. But, um, oh, so I wanted, I want to save that. Ah, oh, too late. I was gonna save that that beehive thing, but it is way too late. Let's see what our turtle got. A lot of cobblestone. He's got oh, he's got more quartz. I do not think they pick up the quartz dust. I'm starting to think that they kind of ignore the dust, and that is really sad. I hope that's not the case. Um, but he's doing his thing, and he's gonna do this until he gets the bedrock. So. That's going to be... Oh, here he comes. He's coming back to unload his stash. Let's see what he got. Yeah, I'll look with you. Let's see what he got. Cobblestone, dirt, more iron, more copper, more quartz. And that's that. Hold on. Don't leave yet. Oh, you're a fast little bugger. Come on. I know he has coal on him because they saved the coal to use as fuel. Whoops. Yeah, I know you were to take my coal as fuel. That's not cool. So, that's the turtle. He's going to work until, uh, yeah, you see this dust. We need the dust, man. I don't want to be wasting dust because we need every bit of quartz and quartz dust, uh, quartz crystal and quartz dust for our uh, inventory, our future inventory system, so copper I need a lot co a lot of copper um, I was running out you making all those steam engines so I would like to resupply but I'm gonna end the episode here um, yep so next episode where we will be uh, what are we gonna be doing hmm I don't know I think we'll um, Oh, I know. what. Okay, I got an idea. So next episode, we'll be b building some really cool machines. Uh, I won't give it away, but we're going to build some cool machines that will help us uh, get some more items, more goodies, more machines. And this will be a different mod also from the mods we've been using. Uh, and hopefully by the time I make the next episode, this turtle will have did all its work.
and um, and oh my, look at the chest is all the way over there. So I will catch you guys next episode, and take care, everyone. Peace out.